Hi there, Colleen back again from Keeping the Peace and thank you for joining me for another episode of Gun Control 101, episode 8 today. We're going to be talking about the counterintuitive way that barrel length and gun weight relates to how easy it is to control your recoil. So a lot of people will think, oh, well, this is a little gun. It should be really easy to shoot. And honestly, it's the opposite. So if you get a gun that has a lightweight frame, like a polymer frame, a short barrel, and especially if you add in the mix of a long trigger distance, a long trigger movement, you're going to have the worst case scenario for recoil management. That's gonna be the hardest scenario. On the other end of the spectrum, if you get a very heavy metal framed gun that has a very long barrel, and especially if you add in a short trigger movement, then it's going to be the easiest scenario for controlling recoil. So the two opposite ends of the spectrum would be something like a Ruger LCP and a full frame 1911, okay? Most people, most people would not choose a full frame 1911 as a carry gun simply because it's large, it has a big footprint, it's hard to cover up, it's heavy, it pulls on the clothing. So most people don't opt for that. However, it would be a great option if you're able to do it. And it is possible if you're committed to it. Most people would tend to choose something on the smaller end of the spectrum, okay? And if this is you, if you're maybe in the beginning of the process and you're trying to figure out what you're gonna to buy to carry, keep this in mind when you go choose something. If you choose a polymer frame, a short barrel, and a long trigger, it's gonna be the most difficult for recoil management. Just know that in the outset and that will help you to employ all these tips that I'm talking about in this video to help you better manage that recoil. If you don't know this going in, it can be a really unexpectedly negative experience for you, okay? So it's good to know that going in. A good middle ground is something that's small, like a three inch barrel, yet a metal frame. So you still have a little weight to help you with recoil management as opposed to, you know, a polymer frame. Also, pick something that has shorter travel for the trigger. Instead of something that has a trigger that is really far forward, try something that has a trigger that sits further back, like a single action only type gun, okay? So that's gonna help you out. So I hope this video has helped. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.